Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my bullet journaling supplies and my art supplies. This is everything I've collected over many, many years, so I'd like to share them with you. And yeah, let's get started. So the journal that you guys will recognize is this journal right here. This is my main bullet journaling journal. This is the Leuchtturm hardcover medium-sized journal. It has a table of contents and it has its pages numbered and the pages are really thick so I don't really get any bleed through and I know a lot of people ask about that whether it's my pens or my journal and it's definitely the pages that I attribute that. This thing is indestructible and I would recommend this to anyone doing bullet journaling. Another journal I like, which I decorated a few months back, it's the Fabriano Gluebound Notebook. And I'm going to be using this for lettering, practicing um, with my brush pen. And it has a very smooth surface on the pages, so it won't ruin your pens. And then here is my newest addition to my journal collection. It's my Limome Hardcover Dot Journal. And I'm going to be using this as a travel journal, actually, because it has a pen slot and then also a place to put pictures and other things, so I thought it'd be perfect for that. For rulers, I usually use the Artist Loft T-shaped ruler if I want precise lines. And then if I'm trying to make exact measurements, I'll use my engineering pocket scale, but the one I use the most is my Westgate stainless steel 6 inch ruler. This one I found to be the perfect size for bullet journaling. If I ever need to draw circles in my journal, I just use this circle template to make it easy. And I always keep a larger pair of scissors and a smaller pair of scissors handy. And then when I need to cut out really straight lines when I'm cutting out photos, I usually use my paper trimmers. I have a smaller one and a larger one, and they're perfect for that. Instead of using glue, I use the Tombow Tape Runner and also the Duck brand tape runner. And these are perfect for pasting in my pictures in my journal and it's super easy. And then sometimes I use this clear tape as well. And then if I make a mistake in my journal, I use this Whiteout Easy Correct uh, tape runner or my Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White. And this is also good for calligraphy and also um, putting white into paintings. It's like the whitest white you can get. And then for the tabs you see in my journal, I use these post-it tabs and they're easily movable and perfect to put on every month so that I can easily flip to each month. So now I'm going to show you guys the decoration materials that I use for my journal. These are definitely not needed. All you really need for bullet journaling is a journal and a pen. But I personally love putting all these things in my journal and making it bright and colorful. So that's just how I like to do it. But yeah, I get all my washi tapes from... Um, AliExpress usually or Michaels. Um, I also love the Etsy shop Happy Memory and I also love Paper Source and Amazon. So that's where all these stickers and washi tapes are basically from. I don't have a huge collection of stickers just because I'm kind of picky about stickers and I actually like coming up with ideas of stickers and uh, basically designing them, drawing them on my iPad Pro, and then I cut them out with my Cricut. So it's just a really fun thing to do, and it's been really awesome getting to sell them on Etsy to you guys. I also just recently started making clear stickers, and this is my first time trying it. It's perfect for my journal because I wanted something that blended in with the um, yellowish paper that the Loistrum has, so this was perfect for my journal. Another thing that I love using are these post-it notes. These ones are like craft paper and they're perfect for to-do lists. I also have these marble ones, but yeah, I definitely want to get a lot more colors. Um, I just haven't gotten them yet. And then I also put in a lot of pictures in my journal, as you can see. A lot of ones that I get from the internet or my own pictures. And I just print them all out beforehand so that I can just have them ready to use. And then my other pictures that I put in are my Polaroid pictures. I have this leather case with a backing to hold your Instax film. And I have the Instax Fujifilm Mini 8 camera. And I love this camera. It's an easy way to take pictures just to put in my journal. The film is unfortunately a little pricey for what it is, but if you get large packs of them on Amazon, um, it saves you a lot of money. 
So next I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite things of all, and this is my pencils and my pens. This is only a small portion of all my pens and pencils, but these are definitely my favorites. So these are the ones I use on a regular basis. I'm going to be doing a swatches and thoughts video on all these in another video soon. So first I'm going to be talking about all my favorite black pens. So this first one is the Muji dual tip pen and um, I use the larger side a lot of the time for headers. And then I have my Staedtler Tri Plus fi Fine Liner, and this comes in a ton of colors, but I use the black a lot for writing in my journal. And then I have all these Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens, and these are all in different shades of gray, and then also black. I use the medium uh, size and also the small size the most. And then I have my Unipin pens, and these are actually new, so I haven't had a ton of time to try them, but so far I really like them um, almost as much as my Micron pens. My Micron pens are my go-to um, pen for drawing, and I also write with them a lot. I usually use the .01 and .02 pens, but yeah, I've been using these for forever, probably about like five years now. And then I have my Pilot G2 pen. This is my all-time favorite pen for writing. I have the extra fine point, point three eight, and that one's my all-time favorite. I use it every day. And then here I have my Tombow Fudenosuke pens, and these ones are for brushed lettering, um, doing like fake calligraphy. And then I have my Zig Writer, and this has in a very short time become my favorite pen to write headers uh, like the days of the week. And yeah, I use this pretty much every day as well. And now I'm going to be talking about my favorite colored pens. So these ones are very fine point. They're the Staedtler um, Tri, Plus, Tri Plus Fine Liners. And uh, they're very thin and they come in a huge amount of colors. So I love these. And then I have my Micron pens, which I don't know if they come in a lot of colors, but I only have been able to find like a few. So I only have like five or six of them. And then I have my Le Pen pens, and I love these pens because of the colors they come in and how um, fine point they are, but they do kind of get um, smushed down a little bit, and I always have to buy new ones, so they're not the best if you write really hard on a paper. And then these ones I use a ton. These are the Crayola Super Tips, and they come in a ton of colors as well, uh, and they're great for doing fake calligraphy. I'm sure you guys will recognize these ones. These are the Tombow dual tip brush pens. And uh, I have a ton of colors. I've bought them individually by color. And uh, the ones I have to the side right now are my favorites. There's definitely a big learning curve in using these guys. I have still not mastered it at all. Um, but they're really awesome pens. And you can also use this blending palette to blend colors together, which is really awesome. And then last but not least, I have my Zebra Mild Liners. These are by far the best highlighters I've ever used. They don't smear the, any ink really, and um, they come in the best colors. So um, I use these guys all the time. And now on to pencils. This is the Pentel Carry Pencil, and this was like my first um, nice pencil I ever owned. And then I got this Pentel, or sorry, Uniball Crew Toga Pencil, and I've been using this for uh, forever. I love that one. And then I just recently got this Pentel Graph Gear 1000, and it's already become my all-time favorite. If I were to tell you to get any one pencil, it would definitely be this one. And then last but not least, I have my graphite set. Um, this is the Faber-Castell graphite pencil set. It comes with six pencils in different shades, and yeah, these are the best ones that I've found for sketching and drawing. Then I have my Prismacolor uh, colored pencils. I don't really use colored pencils very much, um, but I definitely want to start using them. These ones are the best I've found. And then for an eraser, if I'm just trying to do something quick and it's a tiny mark that I need to erase, I use these Pentel Click erasers and they're really easy and they work really well. Um, but if I need to erase a larger amount of area, I use this Pentel High Polymer Eraser. I found this eraser to be the best at erasing without making any streaks or marks. And then I have my metallic pens and um, I usually use these Sharpie metallics and the color I use the most is bronze but I also have gold and silver. 
and then I have these Faber-Castell metallic pens and these ones are a little bit smaller and they come in silver, gold, and copper. And the copper one I use the most, it kind of looks like a rose gold color. And then these ones are the pen, pen touch metallic pens and I have it in silver, white, and gold. These ones are definitely most like a liquid gold. And then I have my gel impact pens, my Uniball Signos, and uh, these ones come in white, gold, and silver. And I actually use the white one the most. It's the best white gel pen I've found um, ever. So this one is my favorite. And then I have my Cricut Silver Metallic Pen. And this one's one of my favorite silvers. Um, I know they have a ton of other colors that I haven't tried yet, but this one is awesome. This next one is the Molotow Acrylic Pen, and this one's best for writing on material. Um, that journal that you saw that I decorated with the flowers, I used that for the cover. And then I have my Paper Source Heat Embossing Tool. Um, if you've never done heat embossing before, basically what it is is you write or stamp whatever you want uh, with a watermark marker and then you sprinkle some of a color, a certain color like gold and then it kind of turns into this foiled risen um, writing. So basically this is a Versamark marker that I'm showing you here and I use that to do the writing um, or this quickie glue gel pen and it's just kind of a glue for the glitter to stick onto. The embossing glitter I use is the Ranger embossing glitter and I only have it in two colors so far but I definitely want to get more. This liquid platinum is my favorite so far and it's kind of like a silverish gold. I thought embossing was going to be a lot harder than it is, but it's actually pretty easy and anyone can really do it. If you guys watch my channel, you know I love watercoloring and these were kind of the best um, materials that I've found for watercoloring. So first I'm going to start with the paints. I use these Utrecht um, watercoloring paints. And then if you don't want to go that route, you can get a little sketch box like this one. This one is what I use usually in my bullet journal because it's just easy to use and pop right out. And here I have the newest addition to my watercolor collection. This is a gold watercolor palette by Fine Tech. I've seen a lot of people use this. I haven't used it yet, but I'm super excited to. And then for watercoloring paper, a lot of people ask me what kind of watercolor paper I use. This is the one I use the most. It's really good with watercolor and it's actually pretty thin and not bumpy, so I can do lettering on it. And then the next one I use is one of my favorites um, for doing higher quality paintings and this is by B Paper Company. And then this is another higher quality paper in my opinion. It's the Strathmore watercolor paper and I use this for bigger projects as well. And this one's probably the thickest out of all of them. And now I'll show you guys my watercolor paintbrush collection. Um, I love having a wide array of sizes, but I mostly use the tinier brushes, and um, I usually get got these from Utrecht. Um, mo pretty much all of them are Utrecht brand, but I also have some ones by Princeton Art and Brush Co. And I keep them all in this paintbrush box that I got from Michaels, and this box is by the company Artbin. And then this is the palette I use the most. I keep uh, one color on each end and then I have the rest to mix colors together. And then I have my mini bowls that I mostly got from Target um, and they're great for holding water so that I can clean my brushes off as I go. And then I have this art masking fluid and this is great for if you don't want a certain part of your painting to get watercolor or water on it. Um, this will mask it and you peel it off afterwards. And that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. This has definitely been my favorite video to film so far just because I love all of these supplies and I love sharing them with you guys. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video and subscribe if you want to see more.